guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Hope you guys are doing awesome today. I'm very excited we are doing head number two from this uh, creepy head collection from the heads that we retrieved from the dumpster by my work. I decorated our first one, Harold, as a terrifying clown with some black eyes that sucked my soul right out. So uh, yeah, that was, he's sitting over there right now judging me. Look, a severed clown head, it's terrifying. It's absolutely, it's the most unsettling thing that I think I possibly could have ever created. So we're gonna move on to number two. This one here, his name is Kristoff and may or may not be part of the Hitler Youth because that's what he looks like. Um, his haircut is, I don't know how to describe it, but it's not great. So that's probably how he ended up in the dumpster. He's also got some like mud on his face, perhaps from the dumpster, perhaps from just, you know, living his best life. I don't know. Um, I believe Kristoff is going to become our zombie. And I unfortunately don't have a green air paint or airbrush paint, so I'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red, and I'm gonna make kind of like a, I don't even know, like an orangey shade, I suppose, with that. But in my Mehron um, palette, I have a couple nice green shades. There's one light one and one darker one and uh, one lime green one. So I think I can make him look like a pretty convincing undead member of society. So without further ado, we're gonna add a little, oh, that was a lot of yellow. That was just an absolute mess of yellow, so oops. And I'm just gonna do a base of yellow. I just spent like 20 minutes trying to clean my brush and I was flipping out and then I just started like going for it because I was like, ah. But actually in the midst of uh, really fighting to clean this, I wound up accidentally mixing the yellow and a little bit of black and it made the perfect zombie green. And so actually like the best thing that possibly could have happened was that whole endeavor, so. Frustrating, but like now I got an actual zombie, so. Time to mix a little bit more of, uh, of this green. Hopefully, I can get a pretty big one somewhere. It just happened to work out like so well. It was just like a little bit of black and then yellow. Black. All right. Now we're gonna mix this black. If anybody's curious on how I mixed it by accident, I held my finger on it trying to disclog it, and then I just let it like all mix together like that make this lovely uh, putrid green zombie shade. And I'm actually gonna spray his head just like all over a little bit green because you can see his scalp back here. And I was gonna paint it black and then I was like, you know what, nah. pretty sufficiently creepy so we're gonna darken up his eyes and make him look a little undead all right I'm actually going to hand paint a lot of the rest of what I'm gonna do with him just because of the colors that I would like to use um, and I'm going to go in with this like dark neutral neutral uh, primary color shade palette and I'm gonna take the really dark um, green and I'm gonna mix it with the, the red and I'm gonna Hope for the best. Highlight those nice angular cheekbones that he was uh, naturally gifted in life. It is very hard to be interactive in this particular case. Um, this is what he looks like right now. It's not great. I'm trying to fix his horrendous contour. Um, but I was trying to darken his eyes. Um, I did get a little bit of the darkness into his eyeball, but I want the, to still have like the eyeball there. So that's why I'm gonna go get the key to with water. All right, so the battery turned off on the camera. And you guys didn't miss a whole lot. Nikki went and got me a Q-tip so I could clean up his eyeballs a little bit. And then I added red so that he looked like he had some sort of a virus. I think that made it pretty damn creepy. Um, I am going to go back in. Um, I've kind of blended out his contour, but I want to go back in with just a little bit more of like that kind of green shade that I was able to do. Actually, I'm going to mix a little bit of red and yellow and see what that does. But maybe get a little bit orangey, but that's okay. It'll kind of lighten it up a little bit, which is what I'm hoping will happen. Just a little bit of each. Okay. 
I've taken a little bit of red in different areas and tried to make it look like he's got some like blood stuff going on. And I think it made him pretty creepy. I don't think I would want to run into him. I don't think I'm going to add any more because I think if I do at this point, it's just going to make it worse. So um, I'm not happy with his harsh contour. <laughs> his contour is a little whack, if you will. Yeah, he's a pretty good zombie. I'm, I'm, I'm not too disappointed with that. Not too bad. All right, so that's Kristoff, our uh, Nazi youth zombie. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's very different from our normal content, but it's very fun to do this. Um, I am by no means a special effects makeup artist. I don't market myself to be, but I do have a lot of fun working with it and I'm kind of making some uh, really weird looking fake heads. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. And if you like our page, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see every time we post. We've got a lot of really great content, stop. Um, we've got a lot of really great content coming out to you for the future, especially for holiday, uh, for this Halloween season and for the holidays coming after that. Um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful night and stay girly with a dark twist.